entertaining the folks here during the timeouts. When you coached against Maravich and the pros, what did you do to stop him? Well, you know, we were trying to trap him, basically, to get the ball out of his hands because once he had the basketball, he was devastating. So you try to trap him and then maybe deny him real heavy not to get the ball back. Fortunately, as I said earlier, Roger, he didn't play with a cast that could really, really hurt you. Earl Monroe will bring it up for the West squad. Maravich matched up. Bing tried to set the pick. Not a bad oh. backcourt right there watching Bing and Monroe work out together. You know who Bing's roommate was in college and played with him? Jimmy Behan. Very blocked by Nate Thurman. And Thurman is really going after Norm Drucker. I mean, Thurman wanted that block. I mean, he is serious. Drucker's going to put him on a line for two. Here comes Thurman. Tom the Sulky, you better make the call. Look at this block. Here comes Nate. I mean, he's up there. And Nate could go help the Cavaliers right now for eight, nine, ten minutes at a time. You know, Frank Layton was telling me he was down the road from us. He says, I think a lot of these guys retired too early. I think they should have swallowed their pride a little bit and been role players, play that eight or ten minutes a game. They could still be playing. Yeah, Roger, when you're a superstar, though, you don't want to go out there for eight or nine or ten and maybe embarrass yourself a little. And I can't believe any of these guys would embarrass themselves. Barry has 11 points. He's got 10 rebounds. And make it 12 points now. And it's 65-61 West with a four-point lead and less than a minute to go. Not the guy you'd want to foul in a two-point game down the stretch. Pistol, Pete Merrill. Misses that one and have a check. Look at Nate Thurman go to the board. Sam Jones open on top. Hits a little pressure defense right now. Let's get right up on him. The crowd with the crowd in it. 46 seconds and counting 65 63. West leads it by two down to 40. And remember, don't get the ball back, Roger. If they look at the wingspan on the hawk, little hawk, he wants to go right at Thurman. Have a check, Garden Berry, and have a check playing him tough. Borgia. Sid Borgia called a walk. I mean, he's screaming and yelling. Look at the intensity on Barry's face. There's the hawk with the ball. Look at Barry moving without the basket. Look at Havlicek denying him. I mean, what a sequence that was. They called Barry for the walk. I didn't see the walk, Roger. And Red Arback wants a timeout to set up. 30 seconds left in the game. The full 24. If we go to a tie, if it ends in a tie, we go to sudden victory. You know who He's my most valuable player right now. 12 rebounds, three block three shots. Blocks. Nate Thurman with four points, and here we go. Havlicek. The big O in the lane. He got Hawkins in the air. Misses it. Oscar rebounds, and Borgia blowing the whistle. No, no, no. One only. It's right here, right here. Five here. Look at him. He said five. The clock was running down. Arbeck says, come on, right Sid. Here, right here. Fouls on Rick Berry. Hey, no, no, no. Right here. Right here. What are you breaking? No, that's the old rule. <laughs> that's the old rule. That's the old Fourth rule. Fourth foul on Rick Berry. 21 seconds left to go. Sam Jones takes it immediately. Misses Nate Thurman the rebound. Jones loses it out of bounds. 15 seconds to go. The West leads by two. As soon as they put it in bounds, Red, get a foul. Have somebody foul, but don't foul Barry. Don't foul Barry. Havlicek pushes Barry out of bounds. They say, we'll go the other way. Barry's going. That's a foul. Barry said, he's killing me. He's mugging me. He's mugging me. Give me a break. Look at Barry. Cry, Rick. Give us the cry. Come on, Rick. You'll join Kelly Tribuca. You'll join Freddie Brown. <laughs> Ten seconds, and Earl Monroe is going to be fouled by Pete Maravich. I love teasing about guys that cry. Certainly have such great respect for Kelly and Freddie Brown. But they do. They've never, the officials have never missed a call with Rick Barry and, and, and Fred Brown and Kelly Tribuca. Even Magic a little bit. We got a two-point ball game. 65-63. Boy, Hannah is so smart. He said, get the ball toward Barry because he knows if they're going to follow him. We got the win. He's going to the line. I guess you don't shoot it except no, two shots just, just for the shooting. So they can run it down. Seven, six. Thurman fouls Connie Hawkins. They got their own set of rules here today. Look at a hawk with that wingspan. I'll tell you, it's a pleasure for me to see Connie Hawkins because as a kid growing up, I just heard so much about him. I never got to see him that much. Hal Greer as the clock runs down to two and another whistle. Well, this is too bad, really. You know, we got a two-point ball game here. And, uh, Roger, I hope they continue it. this every, every year. It's just such a great thing. Look at that. That's it. The West beats the East. The final score is 65-63 and a well-played basketball game. Just there. a tremendous public relations uh, fact. And there's Red with the loss. That's not too happy. We didn't see the cigar. And there's Alex Hanum. He finally gets a win over the Redhead. The guys gave a good effort here. And as I was telling you earlier, I hope for continuity because it's so great to have these guys part of the NBA. Yet.
Come on. There's Alex Hanna, the head coach of the winning West squad. Final score is 65-63. And we'll continue with more of the NBA Old-Timers game from McNichols Arena after this. 